Is Aldi really the cheapest discount retailer out there? Consumers are certainly doubting this right now. An updated report released by grocery market data collection company Greenbook revealed that food prices are rising faster at Aldi stores than at other big box retailers this year, marking the second consecutive year the grocer reports the biggest price increases in the entire industry. In this video, we've tracked which items are seeing the sharpest price hikes at Aldi. Spoiler alert, some have experienced a 200% jump since the pandemic. On top of that, we've also compiled several data, customer feedback, and expert analysis about which product shoppers typically think are cheaper at Aldi. But in reality, they are not. We have a lot to cover today, but before moving on, we humbly ask you to support our work with a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. It looks like inflation is finally going down, even though it's still at the highest level since 1990. Food inflation, however, isn't going anywhere, and even discount grocers are passing along some shocking price increases to their customers. According to Green Book's March analysis of grocery prices at 11 major U.S. retailers released last week, Aldi has reported grocery price inflation of 26.7% in February, slightly up from the 23.4% recorded the same time a year ago, and about 9.6% higher than the average inflation rate seen at other retailers like Publix, Target, and Costco, which reported a 17.1% surge. That marks the second consecutive year that Aldi prices have risen faster than the prices of its rivals over a 12-month period. U.S. consumers have been coping with sustained increases in their grocery bills since late 2021, which is having a big impact on their lives and the way they've been spending their money. Our latest research shows that grocery price inflation is the second most important financial issue for the public behind the recent wave of layoffs, with two-thirds of people concerned by food and drink prices. Two-thirds say they're struggling financially, versus 51% this time last year. The numbers speak for themselves. If people don't change how they buy their groceries, households will be facing a $1,811 increase to their average annual bill, the analysts wrote. Aldi brand products remain 19.7% higher than they were in 2019, the data showed. But name brand items are still more expensive, rising on average by 21.6%. According to Green Book's analysis of inflation on more than 25,000 food and drink products, despite the elevated prices, sales increased by 8.8% at the discount grocer stores in March. Aldi's market share also continued to grow over the past year, hitting 9.7%. But that doesn't mean consumers are okay with the food retailer's latest price hikes and the declining quality of its products. Mashed reports that some of the staples that registered the biggest spikes in price are cornflakes, mozzarella, brie, frozen strawberries, soda, oatmeal, fish sticks, protein bars, and energy drinks, all more than doubling in price at Aldi stores. Consumers aren't taking the latest price surges lying down. In recent weeks, Reddit has been in shambles over the 200% jump seen in Aldi egg prices. A post shows a photo of large grade A eggs with the price of $3.69 per dozen. The top comment is that with the price of these eggs, one might as well pay the extra dollar and a quarter for the premium version. Some commenters even said that organic eggs were currently priced the same as non-organic eggs near them. When Green Book evaluated prices at the chain in March 2022, a dozen eggs at Aldi cost $1.10. That's over a 200% increase in price over a little more than a year. Worryingly, our tracker shows that some everyday essentials have more than doubled in price over the last year, with name brand items particularly hard hit, the analyst noted. 
On Facebook, another loyal customer shared the story of a very frustrating shopping experience he had at Aldi. With a shopping cart containing only eight items, the shopper was incredibly shocked to see a grocery bill of $45. The consumer took to a local community group on the platform to ask, what's happening to Aldi after his bill? The items in his cart included beef, cat food, quinoa, bananas, almond milk, a hundred pack garbage bag that was listed as special buys, chocolate and chickpeas. Working people are being priced out of their lives, he wrote. Social media users were equally outraged at the grocery bill, with one claiming that is not okay in response to the unbelievable price of the food haul. In another post, another person asks, is Aldi even cheaper anymore? The prices have gone up for sure, answered one user, noting that the price of canned food and staples at the retailer is almost comparable to Walmart's. Yeah, I do agree they're getting more expensive, the second person answered. They're taking advantage of other stores' inflation, the user argued, pointing to corporate greed and record profits. Aldi is definitely more expensive than it used to be, and for some items, the price is a pretty parallel to big chain grocery store prices for that item. It's really a game of comparing, saving, and knowing where to get what you need, said the third. The milk, eggs, gluten-free, and ice cream is no longer cheaper, another comment reads. Regular eggs were cheaper at my local Publix. Everything has gone up in price, a lot, many staples more than double. Transitory inflation is now hyperinflation, some other comments read. A school worker said that the weekly grocery bill at Aldi has skyrocketed over the past year. I purchase wholesale food for a school cafeteria. and My weekly purchases last year were about $2,200. This year, they are $3,900 plus for the same stuff. Produce has also almost doubled. A case of bananas last year was $15, this year $28. People need to be prepared for school lunches doubling in cost next year too, she said. Anyone else noticed that Aldi has deteriorated in quality? One user questions in a separate thread. I used to buy all my mixed nuts, pistachios, and peanuts from them, but the last few packs we bought we couldn't even eat. They were that bad. Today we had egg salad with their multi-grain wraps. It was tearing everywhere, but they're freshly opened and within use by date. Then I opened a couple of minced chicken after defrosting. They were practically floating in water. What's happening with Aldi? They're giving me less and fewer reasons to go out of the way to shop there with minimal service, the customer revealed. It sounds like they've decided to reduce quality across the board. Such a shame, one person responded. The quality of Aldi steak in the past couple of years has decreased dramatically, claimed another. Is anybody else seeing a lot of empty shelves? One shopper asked on the Aldi subreddit, their stock levels of certain products are pretty bad. You literally need to go in the first hour of trading to get what you want or it's gone, somebody replied. It makes sense. Tough times mean people are going for cheaper options and Aldi can't keep up, another observed. Unfortunately, Financially burdened Americans that rely on the discount chain to stretch their dollars as far as they can aren't getting much relief for shopping at Aldi, given that the company is facing the same issues as other retailers, soaring prices, worsening quality, and empty shelves. In fact, a new analysis by savings expert Lauren Kreutman shows which products people think are cheaper at Aldi, but actually are not. In an interview with Reader's Digest, the expert shares some of her findings. On top of her list is name brand cereal. Cereal can be more than $3 per box extra, Kreutman says. This is much more expensive than a traditional grocery store, even when the item is on sale. The retailer's brands are very limited when it comes to this item, so if you're shopping for cornflakes and marshmallow morning delights, just know that you're probably going to pay up more than you should.
Second comes varies. Although some of them may actually have a smaller price than at other stores, they usually are near expiration and they don't taste as good. Although you may pay less for berries at Aldi, their quality isn't as great, meaning you are wasting your money, Greutman argues. Skip the fresh berries and shop at a larger grocery store that can rotate produce at a much faster pace or go to your local farmer's market. Aldi's blueberries, raspberries, and strawberries are often bruised and bad after just a few days they make it to store shelves. Moreover, toiletries such as hair care items, deodorant, and dental products can also be more expensive. While they're certainly available at Aldi, you're only going to find established brand names and rarely at a discount. Similar to buying name brand cereals, you're going to spend more money here on name brand shampoos, conditioners, and toothpaste, Greutman highlights. These items frequently go on sale at larger grocery stores, she adds, so skip them at Aldi and shop them on sale at other retailers. Chips are also not so much of a good deal at the retail giant stores. Aldi carries its own brand of simply nature snacks like organic yellow corn tortilla chips and exotic vegetable chips. While the price is right and the chips are actually pretty tasty, if the bag isn't filled to the brim, it ceases to be a bargain. I frequently find their chips only filled halfway in the bag once I open it, making them more expensive per ounce, Greutman pointed out. They also aren't as good as traditional name brands that are often on sale for comparable prices at other stores. Lunch meats such as turkey and ham may not be worth the price, and making the switch from a name brand like Boar's Head to Aldi's Cold Cuts may not save you much money. Plus, you'll probably notice a difference in quality. Their tubs of lunch meat are similar in price to name brands, but don't taste as good, Greutman continued. The grocery chain also has its own soda line, which is more affordable than name brands, but it's not a suitable replacement for Coke or Pepsi in terms of taste, according to the expert. And if you give in and add a few bottles of name brand soda to your cart, you'll likely pay more than you would elsewhere. Soda is heavily discounted in the summer months at many grocery stores, and coupons are easy to track down, Reader's Digest reports. Aldi's latest earning report indicated that regardless of the strong sales growth, the company is becoming less attractive to U.S. shoppers. The retail giant is incurring heavy losses due to rising costs and is therefore closing stores and canceling major investment projects. According to CFO Eric Riga, Aldi had a negative operating margin of 1.4% last year, despite reporting the highest annual sales growth among all retailers. The discounter is reportedly struggling with a huge cost problem, he said, adding that despite its success, Aldi has yet to be able to avoid store closures. Dozens of locations have closed recently with little notice to customers, just as it happened in 2022, when the company closed several locations in Chicago, in New York, and New Jersey. The same three areas also experienced shutdowns this year. Eat this, not that, reported that in March. When a grocery chain plans to close one or more locations, it usually notifies residents so they're aware and can make changes in where they shop. However, Aldi did not appear to provide such notice to customers when it closed its Auburn Gresham location near 76th and Ashland. According to ABC7 Chicago, Aldi permanently closed the site, citing repeated burglaries and declining sales as the reason. The company also closed three locations in California. According to reports, the establishments shut it with little or no notice to their patrons or staff due to low sales and higher expenses. In Memphis, Tennessee, two more branches went dark due to frequent burglary, property damage, and poor sales performance. Due to a lack of employees, the company is reportedly considering closing its grocery shop close to Saranac Lake, New York. It seems like conditions are deteriorating for everyone in the grocery market at this point, 
and the biggest losers, unfortunately, will be the average U.S. consumers. There is no single answer that explains why food prices are still reaching new records. But even so, we must start adjusting our budgets accordingly. Thank you for watching.